hello and welcome back to my channel as usual today we're getting a get ready with me video you know what i'm gonna be completely honest i never really found the point of doing get ready with me videos because like who the hell wants to watch me get ready but i guess i just went to the washroom and washed my face with some mild cleanser so let's hop straight into skincare <laughs> Honestly, dude, I have like no idea what I'm getting ready for because I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> but who says you can't look pretty for absolutely no reason? Dude, these gua sha things are like miracle workers, dude. They take out all the impurities from your face and it makes your face look like more sculptured and smaller. And I honestly kind of love it. In my opinion, I think the number one tip to making your makeup actually stay on is having moisturized skin. Like if your face isn't moisturized for your makeup, your makeup is going to look cakey as shit. I have some like brow hairs here. Let me take it off. Just pray for me that I don't shave half my eyebrow off. I kind of needed this because I haven't been going out for like three days or so. <laughs> so I haven't put on any makeup. For the skin, I'm gonna go in with Artistry Concealer. I know this concealer is a little bit dark for my skin right now, but I'm gonna show you how I do it. It's like eyebrow hair still on my face personally i like to leave my concealer on for like a good two minutes before i put my foundation on and yes i put concealer on before my foundation i feel like the concealer is just more intact that way when you let it sit for about two minutes instead of straight up mixing your concealer and foundation all at once and then i'm gonna go in with a little bit of a lighter foundation put a little bit on And then when you blend the foundation out, it just looks more natural. Because I feel like over the summer, my skin got a little bit more tan and then my foundation that I was using previously didn't match my shade anymore. So I kind of had to mix it with like darker foundation and a lighter, darker concealer and a lighter foundation. I still have eyebrow hair on my face. Oh my God. Personally, I like my face matte. So I just put a layer of powder over it because my skin tends to get oily throughout the day. For my eyebrows, I just like following the natural line of my eyebrows because I don't want anything too dramatic, honestly. I always have this problem on my left eyebrow where I can't seem to make it look like it's connecting. Am I the only one who has that problem? Do you guys have that too? Because the right eyebrow is like super good when it comes to drawing and then on the left one, it just looks like my eyebrows are like disconnected, like they just logged offline. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette for this because I like the colors in here. I'm not gonna bother using a brush, but I'm gonna use this shade right here. And then I'm gonna take a darker shade, this one, and then put it on the outer corner of my eye, kinda. Or like, I don't know what you wanna call it, <laughs> but just closer to your lash line. And then I have the Naked 3 palette, and then there's a darker color in here somewhere. Yeah, this one at the very end. This is like my favorite smoky eye palette. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with like a cat eye smoky today, so I'm going to make it go like up. <laughs> I 
I feel like for smoky eyes, you just have to like trust yourself. You have to trust the process. Just start off lighter and then just like build it up. Cause I feel like if you put on too much dark shadow at once, it just like makes it look really pasty and cakey, which is not what we're trying to do. I'm gonna take this shiny shimmery shade right here. It's like a gold one. And then I'm gonna put it under my egg yolk cell. I don't even know where that term came from, egg yolk cell. It's a Korean term, but it's like, I don't know why they called it egg yolk cell. <sighs> my liquid liner is so shitty. I need another one, but girls on a budget. I think I just fucked it up. I don't think that's the right angle. No, it's not. Oh no. Ew. This is not it. No. I'm also gonna draw an underline with a brown pencil just to make my eyes look a little bit bigger. From the middle to the end. Oh my god, my screen, please, for fuck's sake. I need to fix my camera so bad. My camera is like, it's, <sighs> I wish I could show you what my camera looks like right now because the screws that hold my screen down are like, one of them's gone. One of them's like almost like half fallen out. So whenever I flip the screen on my camera, it won't stay. Wow, so pretty. Speaking of pretty, did you see my earrings yet? I don't think I showed you guys. See, I got these new earrings. I love these earrings so much. I wear them on a daily basis, like every day. So yes, this video is sponsored by Ana Luisa and they also sent me three more earrings over here. And they have really nice packaging, by the way. The packaging is all recycled and reusable. It's like cardboard. And the way that they like package their earrings are so cute. I'd never seen an earring package come like this in like a leather pocket. I love it. So you open the package like this. And then boom, these are also another one that they sent me and I'm absolutely in love with them. They're like little snakes. Oh my God. I'm gonna try them later. They also sent me this one. It's a gold ring earring with like chains on it. I thought this would be super elegant, the design for maybe like a dress or like a casual night out. And the ones that I'm wearing right now are silver earrings and they come in like a double set like this. And honestly, like I said, I love these because my ears are super sensitive and cheap material can make my ears have an infection. And I've been wearing these for about a week now and I haven't had a single infection. And they're stainless steel. So when you go in the shower, you don't need to take them off. They'll just stay in place and they won't irritate your ears and as you can probably tell all their material is super high quality like this one too this one is like a fancier version of the other one i honestly love these i'm gonna give one to unicorn i'm gonna give one to my roommate so it can be matchy matchy and other than earrings they also sell necklaces and rings and other types of jewelry and guys you know i always say this but i never recommend anything that i haven't tried myself i'll leave their details in the description box if you want to check out their fantastic jewelry so if you're into jewelry or if you want to buy new jewelry or even thinking about getting someone a gift i highly recommend Ana Luisa. my contacts are from ttdi and today i'm using them in the shade himalayan gray i love them because they come with this like tweezer and like this mini applicator so you don't have to dig your nasty nails in there I have a discount code for TTDI if you want to use it. It's Sohyana 10 with a zero. Like, look at these gray lenses. Aren't they stunning? These are my favorite lenses right now. I wear them like all the time. I like to curl my lashes after I put my mascara on because I feel like it just holds better. For contour, I use Fenty Beauty Contour Sticks. And right now you are witnessing free plastic surgery with contour because I do not have a nose bridge. And there you have your free nose job. <laughs> I'm getting a nose job. <laughs> and lastly, I need to put lipstick on my crusty lips. Why are they so crusty? Okay, we're gonna do our hair now. I think I wanna curl it today, look a little bit fancy. I'm also gonna dump serum on my hair because it looks like a broomstick, like a good generous amount. Girl, if I had money, I would just go to the salon and get keratin treatment, but your girl, like I said, is on a budget. So that's not happening anytime soon. <laughs> this curler is sick. It's supposed to heat up in like 15 seconds. There we go. Nice. I haven't curled my hair for so long. I'm actually kind of excited because I don't curl my hair often. I only curl my hair when it's like a special occasion or if I'm going somewhere like 
fancy. Honestly, I still don't have like any idea what I'm gonna be wearing. And B, I have so many cute earrings that I don't know which one I'm gonna match my outfit with, so. <sighs> Honestly, I'm kind of really feeling this one though because these are like, these are some batty earrings, bro. Oh my, do you see the snakes? Just golden, just. <sighs> I love these. I love these so much. I like the chains too, but personally, like this one, like this duo that I'm wearing right now, and these snake earrings are my favorite, my absolute favorite. I am not burning my hand today. Oh my god, that is that is so short compared to the original. I like it. Isn't it cute? Ooh. You know what? I think with this whole outfit, I'm feeling pretty elegant today. So I'm going to go with these ones right here, the chains. I love them. That is so pretty. These earrings give me like Greek goddess vibes. Ah. Okay, let's go pick an outfit that matches. Okay, so for the outfit, I have this. So it's like a dress and then I was gonna put like a belt over it. I don't know if I wanna put a shirt under it. Maybe not, cause it's a little bit, the weather is hotter. So I think I just wanna put this on. Okay, how the fuck do I put this on? Okay, maybe I should take the sports bra off, honestly. Hold on. <laughs> this is cute. Oh yeah, this is really cute. Wait, and then put the belt on it. I have to put like an extra hole in my belt because it didn't fit. <laughs> huh. I wish the belt was a little bit like thicker, but I don't have a thicker belt. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what to do about this strand, like this belt strand right here, but you know. Ooh. Okay, I also thought there was something missing, so I added a Pandora bracelet that I had, and then I also have a clutch, and I also added some heels. So this is the complete outfit. Oh my god, I need the camera like a little bit farther. I don't know, I don't know how to do it, but you get the idea. Heels and you know, oh my god, I've been working out and honestly, it was worth it. Honestly, I feel like if the belt was like Gucci, actually, no, I think the simple belt is better. This is like a $10 belt from Garage. <laughs> Okay, lastly, I'm gonna put on some perfume. This is Libre by, I think this is Libre. I don't remember what this is, but it's by YSL and it smells very like, it's a night scent. It's a very sexy night scent. So we're gonna put this on today. I love how the earrings match so well with this with this outfit. If you would like to check it out, this is my discount code and all the other information and links will be in the description box below, so please check it out. Again, if you stayed till the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun getting ready with you guys and I'll see you in the next video. I love you.